Hello friends, here I have a database I have created using Firebase in Sketchware and at present it contains 10 items. Now here I will show you how to load limited number of items from Firebase into this app using Firebase query. So let's start. First I should tell you that all the codes which I have used in this app of in this video are available here on this blog post and I will be using all these things here. The first step is to add a list view which I have already added. Next I have to add a text view which I will be adding. Then the custom view I have already created. Next is this part add a number variable called limit and then add a string list called str and a map list called map1. So I will be adding this now. So this is my app. This contains a list view and a text view. Now I will add another text view or I can also add a button but here I will prefer a text view in which I will write load more now in logic area here I have already created a list string string list called str and my map list is different it's not map one it's map plus i will add a number variable called limit so here this is the number variable called limit now let's check this first we have to set the number variable to the number of items we wish to load so here if i wish to load the load only three items from the database I will set this number variable limit to 3 after this I will put an add source tackly block and here I will use the firebase query code for firebase query which is available here query is equal to chat dot limit to last here In this code, I must change the Firebase DB component name. So I will first check what my Firebase DB component name is. In this case, my Firebase DB component is SUB with S in capital, U in small letters and B in small letters. So here I will just change this chat to SUB with S capital and UB. Rest of th things will remain same. Next is the code which is to be added at the end of onCreate. Here you can see at the end of onCreate means after all the blocks in onCreate, I will be putting this complete code. I'll just copy this and put this as last add source tackly block in on create. Now here the difference is that I'm not using map one, I'm using map as my map list. So here instead of map one dot clear, I have to change this to map dot clear and below instead of map one dot add i have to write map dot add so here at the end i will just change this map one dot add to map dot add underscore map now after this i will just display it in list view by using this block list view 1 set list custom view data map and list view 1 refresh data after this i will use another add source tackly block and put this final code
which is for catch exception in case of any errors. So, I will just copy this and paste it here in on create. This should be the last block in on create event. That is all here. Now, another thing is I have to remove the on child added, on child removed and on child changed events. So, here I will just delete these events. Here you can see that this is my on bind custom view. No need to change anything here and this is my on child added event. It contains this clear string list and for data snapshot, d short data snapshot of dead children, I have added all the keys to this string list. So, I have done the same in the code on my blog and that is why I can remove this event without any difficulty and I can remove this event on child removed also. It is same. So, I can remove this event as well and I can remove on child changed event as well. So, now I am left with only these three events and if I want to load only three items from the database, I can just run the project and it will load three items from the database. So, here you can see that it loads only three items from the database and if I add any new item like here if I write a name and some marks for it. And save this then also it will be added as separately but the number of items will remain same, it will remain 3 and if I want to load more items by clicking a button then in that case here the button is text view 2. So, I have to add text view 2 on click event, text view 2 on click and here when text view 2 is clicked I have to set this number variable limit to the number of items which I want to load. Like suppose if I want to load 3 plus 3 items, then I will just write here as limit plus 3 which is 6 items and then I will make another query once again. So, for that I will use this add show directly block and I will copy this code which is there in this first add source directly block in on create which is making a query and adding a value event listener to this query. So, I will just copy this and paste it in this add source directly block. So, now if I click on text view 2 it will load more items. Ok, so here you can see that it initially loads 3 items and if I click on load more, it loads another 3 items and the number of items now are 6. If I click on load more, it will add 3 more items and now the number of items are 9. If I again click here, it will show all the items, all the 11 items, here you can see is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 items. If I again click on load mode, it will not display more items because there are only 11 items. So, I hope this was useful for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.